Is that what I think it is? I seriously doubt it. No, please don't. It's Jasper! <laughs> best movie for me. Uh, best acting. And uh, easy it could be a pilot on, for like Amazon or Netflix or anything. Like, I mean, it's high quality production with like a really good acting. Yeah, this was just a, like a big bowl of candy, wasn't it? It was just lovely, lovely little rom com. And I agree, this is the best movie in my opinion of the world. High quality production, excellent acting, editing, the music. All sounds like every kind of science fiction time travel movie has that kind of like back to the future, you know, like ding, 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 you know, kind of music in the background there. So, um, but what I like most about it, about different time travel kind of movies is the, the time travel machine itself. And this one was kind of like uh, a mix between old like incandescent lights and like transistors and stuff and like the, the whole lever, like, you know, the Frankenstein, you know, thing mixed in with LED lights and red buttons and stuff like that. And, you know, everything just, it was, it was a very well done kind of device for a uh, low budget or it was, it was, it feels like a very high production, high value production movie done on a low budget, excellently executed. I, 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 I really hope this was a, like, this could be done as a, like a feature film. Something like that. Maybe this would be like a lead into a future film. Like a proof of concept. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good, great, great idea. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it's interesting. They put this is a production that spent its money where it needed to be spent. Right? They they did they cast beautifully, the writing was good, the set design was fantastic, that bedroom had Einstein in it, they had all these little posters, little little notes, little homages to things. You know, overall I just thought the movie was funny. Um, I like to laugh so you know I was half, I was laughing halfway through it. Um, I actually thought, you know, the whole idea of putting the girl in the whole piece and you know trying to get him to relax and you know chill, you know, whatever man. It's not it's not it's the end of the world is not here, so you know, everything will come to uh, to an ease and we'll figure out, figure out the problem. So I, I thought it was good. Yeah. And it, there was this nice little note, like it wasn't meant to be. What's meant to be is meant to be, right? Like, like exactly. we can go around and try to change the past, but should we? Or are we going to end up right where we belong anyway? And also the idea that, like, you made a time machine to fix a broken relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about raising hormones. So overall, I really like the movie, but one of the things I paid attention to right away was that, uh, that the time machine itself, uh, it, paid, it paid homage to the, the movie Time Machine by H.G. Wells, like one of the first time machine, uh, the, 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 the original book that invented the whole concept of time machine, so, so that was really well done. Yeah, that big lever, right, is that H.G. Wells thing. See, this film more from a romance point of view, it reminds me of Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Um, it's not so much sci-fi, it uses sci-fi to talk about the romance, and the whole theme about it's not meant to be, I feel like it's meant to be for him to go back to have a new perspective of that relationship, and then meet this new girl. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry, I've work to do. Here's a screwdriver. Oh, wait. It was nice meeting you. Uh, welcome to the flat. Okay. Happy assembling. I like the idea that uh, in the present he's thinking of nothing but the past, and then when you go back in the past, he's talking about their future. And I was also wondering whether there's not another dimension where he didn't get the note out of the pocket and he comes back to a, a present with this girl and he's miserable. <laughs> Sad. I would also like to use a time machine to fix my idiotic mistakes with women. But aside from that, um, yeah, it was, it was really funny and ridiculous and that's why it worked, I think. It, and I agree with what someone else said about uh, it being like a, a pitch for a, a TV series. I think it would, it would work that way. So it's very well done. Yeah, it's a great, it's relatable. It's this perfect wish fulfillment. It's relatable. It doesn't everybody have something they wish they could go back and do over again. And then if they go back and do it over again, are they going to see it from a different point of view?